Hey, and welcome to Internet Roundup, partners. Uh, this is our corral here on the ranch. And what other uh, Western cowboy things can I say? A uh, 10-gallon hat. 10-gallon hat. C- boots. Which you actually saw a guy in a 10-gallon hat in Dallas, Texas. Did I last sure year. did. Pretty neat. Man, that guy was a bean pole. Oh, he's a skinny guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, his, had his hat been taller, it would have just fallen around him. Yeah. I think skinny guy, 10-gallon hat is a song. Oh, I'm really? Mistaken. Yeah. By Styx? It's a, yeah, it's a Styx. It was on uh, Paradise Theater, if I'm not mistaken. I heard, um, is it the one where Mr. Roboto was on? No, that's, Kilroy was here. Okay. I, I heard Mr. Roboto in its entirety for like the first time. What? That's a great song. You'd never heard that? I just heard the um the, the yeah, VW the commercial where Buster from um, Arrested Development is in in the oh, car wow. when he's jamming out. You know that's Buster from Arrested Development. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Tony Hale. Yes, but um, I did know Mr. Roboto because that was a big song when I was a kid. Sure, you're a little younger though. So I was a little younger. I was still into like Lover Boy and that kind of thing. You know. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, sidetracked already. Let's start with this article on. Uh, Hi, it's called Google's Hive Mind Robot Arms Learn to Negotiate a Cluttered World. Wait, what arms? Robot. <laughs> That's not how you say that. <laughs> that's, I'm stealing that from John Hodgman. Oh, I that's right. That's right. That's Hodgman. how he says it. I thought it sounded familiar. And I think it's funny. It is funny. All right. So, what's going on here with these robots? Uh, Google researchers uh, are trying to get to operate. So, more smoothly. you know how when you play a video game, yeah. like you get increasingly better at it? Oh, yeah. So that's hand-eye coordination, mm-hmm. and it's something that humans are pretty good at, actually. Yes. If you play tennis or play video games or whatever, hand-eye coordination is huge for moving through and dealing with the environment. Yeah. Robots have a lot, a lot of difficulty with this. Sure. And Google's trying to teach a robot to find, to select a specific thing amid a bunch of other things. Right. And so pick the right thing up and pick it up like easily and quickly and well, right? Yeah. The thing is, is they've found that you can teach a robot to do this and that a, an artificial intelligent robot can learn through repetition, but we're talking like 500,000 repetitions just to get like one thing right. And what good is that? It takes way too long. Yeah. So Google had a really good idea and they decided to use the hive mind instead. You use a single AI with a bunch of different robot arms yeah. grasping. This and so if it takes 500,000 grasps to learn something, if you have a 1,000 robots or a 1,000 ro- robot arms, then it just takes that one single mind 500 grasps. Yeah. Not bad. You're, you're gaining real ground at that point. Exactly. It's pretty sharp. It's very smart. It's basically distributing the work of that that one mind is learning from over yeah. you know a bunch of different robot arms. Well, I think smart is the key word. Essentially what they're trying to do is make a smart robot. In other words, they say it's easy, well, not easy, but we know how to program a robot on an assembly line where mm-hmm. everything is uh, moves at the same rate and everything is always identical. Right, right. But um, things get confusing in a cluttered environment. And we're trying to break that barrier where a robot, a robot doesn't have to be programmed. It can actually learn how to do these things right. amidst a cluttered environment. Yeah, like really I, need cool. to, I need to pick up that human that fell down yeah. amidst <laughs> this uh, this rubble, but I don't want to pick up rubble and then accidentally drop it on the human. I just want to go get the human. And we need robots that can do that and think like that. Pretty neat. Amazon is interested because uh, they would obviously like to replace all the humans in their warehouses right. with smart robot arms. Probably. Uh that way they can't get in trouble, right, about their uh, working conditions. Yeah. Because robot arms don't care. Uh, no, robot arms. Just oil them up every now and then. Pretty much. Right? Yep. And then all the people who used to work at Amazon can go home and just kick back because they don't have to work anymore because <laughs> the right. robots have it. And wait for the drone delivery. Right. Uh, moving on to something you found, which is both cute and effective. Yes. If you it, live in Coyota country. Yeah, which is uh, increasingly everywhere because- yeah. I saw one the other day in my, across the street. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chuck lives in a pretty developed area. Oh, like, yeah. you don't live in any sort of rural area no, whatsoever. No, no, there are coyotes in the woods around uh, Atlanta. Yeah, well, the I mean, as we encroach further and further out into the exurbs, the coyotes are like, oh, well, I guess I'll go to Hardy's. Yeah. 
I need some Chinese food. Right. <laughs> so these, uh, the, the problem with coyotes coming along is that they like to eat pets, specifically smaller pets like yeah. cats and dogs. And um, this couple um, came up with something called the coyote vest. And sadly, they came up with a coyote vest because in 2014, their dog Buffy mm. um, was snatched by a coyote in front of them and uh, never to be seen again. And they assumed the worst for Buffy. Yeah. And they said, that's not happening to another of our dogs. No. So the coyote vest is uh, basically body armor for your little pooch or kitty, I guess. Can you put this on a cat? You can definitely put it on a, a dog. I don't know if they, they're probably going to come up with a different one for cats. I imagine if they like cats, they will. But that, <laughs> I don't see any cats wearing this in any of the pictures. It's just a small, cute dog. That's right. Um, it offers a few levels of protection. Uh, the large spike collar area um, prevents neck bites and shaking, which is what happened to their dog. Yeah. That's the move. You know, you pick the dog up by the neck, do that number. Yeah. And it's stop short and grab. <laughs> He stopped short and made a grab. Uh, and then next they have um, Kevlar. So I guess that would keep the teeth from penetrating, ideally. Right. And they said that they used Kevlar that was developed for prison guards to prevent stabbings. Good enough. Sure. For me. Sharpened toothbrush, coyote teeth, virtually the same, right? Yeah. If it'll stop a shiv. <laughs> right. Or is it a shank? I can never remember which is Oh, I didn't the verb. know there was a difference. Oh, uh do you shiv someone or do you shank someone? I think you shank someone with a shiv. Or do you shiv with a shank? I'm not putting my money on either because I can't. I don't know. Maybe it's both. Uh, and then the, the sides of the vest are double laminated. Um, we should ask Barrett Brown. I'll bet he knows. Yeah, I bet you're right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, double laminated to prevent those canine teeth once again uh, from puncturing the what they call the primary bite zone. Right. Looks like it works to me. I mean, yeah, if I were a coyote, I'd be like, uh, I'll choose a different dog. Or, I mean, imagine the coyote would grab, I mean, it would still be pretty horrific. For the coyote? No, I think it'd be pretty bad, too, to be picked up and attempted murder. Yeah, but, I mean, have you seen the spikes on this thing? Like a coyote, it yeah. just, like, go right into their face. They That's couldn't, true. It, it'd be bad news. I feel bad for the coyotes, too, you know? Kind of. But I'll bet this couple that came up with the coyote vest would just clap along, like, yeah, coyote, enjoy your pain. <laughs> This one's for Buffy. Yeah, I went out to my truck at like midnight the other night, and I looked across the street, and there was that, they had that telltale uh -huh. gate, Yeah, you know, sort of a hoppy gate. I used yeah. to see them in L.A. a lot. Right. And um, I went, well, that's a coyote. Yeah. Man, and that's surprising. Ducked behind this vacant house. And um, Did you go inside and get your three fifty seven? No, I don't have guns. I just went inside and went, huh, coyote. Weird. What are you going to do? <laughs> My, my animals are indoors, so I don't, I don't have to worry yeah, about it. That's cool. And my dogs are pretty big, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't think your dogs are going to be threatened by a coyote. No. They would threaten a coyote. Sure. With their charm. <laughs> right. Winning good looks. <laughs> They're like, pick a card, any card. <laughs> All right, that's it for this week on the Internet Roundup. We will see you next week right here inside the corral, and uh, good day to you all.